Hi, I'm Jared Restiver, Product Manager for SyncWave Event. SyncWave Event is a software tool designed to help engineers analyze protective relay event reports. A relay event report is a collection of analog and digital data recorded by the protective relay to help engineers understand the relay's operation during a fault condition. Today I'm going to share with you the information you need in order to be able to begin using SyncWave Event to analyze event reports. Let's get started by opening an event report. Here on the display, you can simply open an event report by double clicking on it. This launches SyncWave Event with the event report already loaded. You can also load an event report by clicking in the top right hand corner, selecting Open New Event Report, or adding another event report to the session by selecting Add New Event Report. In the top right hand corner, we have our events menu. This shows the one event report loaded, as well as some summary information for the event report, and provides access to the relay settings. On the left-hand side, we have our analysis workspace. The analysis workspace provides us the current waveforms, followed by the voltage waveforms, and lastly, the digital status. SyncWave Event helps engineers more effectively analyze events by automatically looking at the relay settings in the trigger equation and detect any digitals that asserted or changed state in the relay trigger equation and plots those automatically for the user in order to make analysis more efficient. When analyzing an event, it's helpful to be able to zoom and pan. You can zoom in by double clicking, mouse wheeling, or doing a box zoom by holding control and clicking and dragging. You can also zoom out by using the mouse wheel or simply pressing the Z key to return to the default zoom. In addition to that, SyncWave Event provides two cursors in order to be able to see the values on the waveform. You can also see the delta time in between the two cursors. If you forget how to do anything in SyncWave Event, you can always right click on a chart and it'll provide you all the options such as selecting the quantity, zooming and panning, copying a chart, or saving it as an image, and much more. In addition, we also provide a global settings menu in the top right hand corner that allows you to change settings such as phaser reference, sequence base, phase rotation, font scale, and changing from a dark to a light background, and much more. In the lower right hand corner, there's a custom calculation engine. This custom calculation engine enables engineers to be able to take any analog or digital signal in the relay event report and use it in an equation. In order to do an equation, we first need to declare a variable. So I'm gonna go ahead and declare IABC as my variable, and then I'm gonna go ahead and sum up the phase currents, IA plus IB plus IC. You can also use the autocomplete feature as well. Pressing enter finalizes the equation and then makes it available in your trend chart. Now I can add the IABC signal that we just created to the current trend and plot it alongside the original values. I'm also going to go ahead and just quickly change the color of the IBC to make it more visible. And you can see now the summation of the currents alongside the original currents. Often when doing analysis, it can be important to add additional workspace. So in the lower left hand corner, you can add a second display and create a blank view or clone an existing view into a new view. I'm going to clone an existing view into a new view. Here I can enter the name of the new view and I'm going to call it phasers. From there, we have a duplicate of our original view. I'm going to go ahead and remove the digital chart by clicking the X button as well as the analog voltage chart. Now, going into the top right hand corner, I'm going to use the shortcut to split the chart vertically and then it's going to provide me an option of each of the different chart types that we have. We're going to go ahead and select the phaser diagram for this chart. Once we've selected the phaser diagram, the first thing we need to do is click the plus button in the top right hand corner to add additional quantities. I'm going to go ahead and add my phase currents, so IA, IB, and IC. The next thing that we need to do is set a phaser rotation for this. We can go to the global settings, choose my phaser reference, and select my A phase voltage. Now, as I grab and drag the orange cursor through the event, I can see how my current phases rotate with respect to the event as I drag through time. Now that we've analyzed an event, we might be interested in saving this work. 
SyncWave event automatically saves any changes that we make in a session file. This session file is stored automatically in the same location that the original event was stored. Now, anytime I go back to this event report, I can simply double click on the event report and it's gonna launch this event report and bring me right back to where I was when I was doing my analysis. We can also take this template that we've developed and apply it to other event reports. By going down into the lower left hand corner and choosing my manage templates, I can save this template as a user template, which then allows me to use this display on any additional event reports that come in the future. All I'd have to do is load the user template and we'd be on our way. And that completes our review of the SyncWave event capability. As you begin your analysis with SyncWave event, if you have any questions, please reach out to SCL. We're happy to help however we can. Thank you. Have a great day.